This wine has a charm on it. We're gonna open a 1985 Barbaresco from a producer called Salvano. I've never had this wine, I've never had this producer. We found a handful of bottles from 1985, which is an exceptional vintage. It's also a good, a very good, I would say, period for Barolo and Barbaresca. Post-1990, winemaking changed a lot in the area thanks to Robert Parker. There's this awkward period in Barolo. A bunch of producers that made wines that didn't really have the identity of Barolo and Barbaresco. They wanted it to be fruitier, they wanted it to be bigger, darker, lathered in new oak barrels. And then there was the traditional stuff. Those are all the producers that we all kind of freak out about today. Rinaldi, Bartolo Mascarello, producers like Acamasso, these old school kind of legends that really didn't waver from the traditional style of making Barolo. Uh, whereas in the 80s, they're pretty much everybody was still making wine without new oak barrels, without um, you know much attention to like how big the wine was. I'm gonna give it a go first with this before I bust out the Duran, um, just cause. Check it out. Nope. I'm gonna edit this point. All right, let's check it out. Got my iPhone, I got my decanter, I got my old bottle of wine. Let's go. A little bit more sediment than I thought. Old Nebbiolo can not be everybody's thing. Sometimes it can really taste like nail polish. I don't love to decant old wine for too long, but um, old Nebbiolo, so old Barolo, old Barbaresco is something that you can decant for a really long time. There's a group of collectors of this stuff that believe that the wines really can decant for like 12 hours, 24 hours sometimes. Um, if you have an old bottle of Barolo that you open and it has some of those like paint nail polish flavors to it, don't tap out, it, it still could be good. But right out of the gate, this wine's delicious. It's a combination of like fresh strawberries, roses, earthy flavors like porcini mushroom, leather, cooking spice. Kind of smells like a maro a little bit. It has some some chinar. For me, this is like a pretty exceptional, but not overly complex bottle of wine. Um, pasta, like tomato-based pastas, steak, but not necessarily the most refreshing glass of wine. So don't need to serve it like chilled out in the sun, but cold weather. So random producer, really great era for winemaking in Barbaresco. Awesome vintage too. Can age for a little bit longer, but I think it's ready to go right now. Um, sick. I think we're done.